Guys, it's Yang Yang here. Welcome back to my table tennis tutorials. Last Saturday, I got invited to go to UCLA and to watch Chinese national team's training. I even got a chance to play with Sun Wen, who beat Harimoto with 4-0 before. It was a great experience to watch them practice. They train about 7 hours per day. Every section is about 2-3 to three hours. So that's how China built their champions. It's a great chance to watch Chinese national teams training, take pictures, get signatures, or even practice with them is not the main purpose. The most valuable things I gained from that is learning how they train, what kind of exercise they use, and what we can learn from that and use it for ourselves to improve our techniques. So I arranged their training videos and wrapped up five multiple exercises that you could learn and try by yourselves in this video. I hope it could help you improve your techniques. Man Yu is training one spot back and flick. Sun Wen is practicing forehand corner on the spin loop. Liang Qingguan is training one spot forehand top spin loop. Hey guys, my student and friend Hansong will demonstrate those exercises for us. So let's do it. One spot single technique exercise help you stabilize your stroke. You know where the bar will go and stay at one spot to play that particular stroke. For beginner or whoever wants to master single techniques, this is one must-do exercise. Once you feel good and comfortable with your single spot technique training, you can move on to the next training exercise. Liu Shiwen is training two spots forehand top spin loop. This time, you will be given two spots. It could be forehand half of the table two spots, or whole table two spots. You play one technique, but you have to move two spots to get the boss. This exercise will improve your footwork and help you stabilize your stroke when you are moving. Zhu Yuling is practicing far from the table forehand top spin loop. <laughs> Wang Manyu is training forehand top spin loop close to the table randomly. You could practice one technique like forehand topspin, backhand topspin loop, or on the spin loop, but with a random multi-ball training. This exercise helps you with your reaction and footwork. You have to predict where the ball will go, move to the spot quickly, and play the stroke. 
It's like playing a game because when you play a game, you never know where the ball will go. You have to find out yourself and move to the right position to get the points. Xu Xing is training one backhand loop and one backhand topspin. Liu Guoliang is training Fan Zhendong with push and attack. There has a millions of combination situations in the game, like push and loop attack, or flick and topspin attack. If you could practice more and more situations, you could get yourself prepared and ready when you play in the game. This is a really important exercise. Here are some combination exercises you could try yourself. <laughs> Dini is training simulation game exercise. <laughs> It means everything is imitated like a real game. You will be given balls randomly, on the spin or top spin. You have to decide what to do with that ball like a game. But one important thing of this exercise you have to be aware is all the balls follow the rules. When I say rules, it means when you flick the on the spin ball and turn it to the top spin, the next coming ball must to be the top spin. It wouldn't be an underspin unless you're playing with a chopper or pips player. Simulation game exercise is the most advanced exercise. It helps you with your predictive ability, reaction, footwork, techniques, everything. Everything all in one. Cool, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. I hope you could learn a lot from those training exercises and practice with your partner or coach. Give me a big thumbs up if you like this video. Please don't forget to follow my YouTube channel if you are new here. Alright, I will see you in my next video. Bye bye.